Oh. And he had a temperature. I had a temperature. I was like, oh my God. I said, Pooh, you got the wrong up. You, know, you got to get out of here. Where am I going to go? I said, Pooh, you got to leave this house. I'm like, where the fuck am I going to go? I'm walking around. So I get in the car. I drive to, um, where right I drive to? Right. No, I drove to the um, Minute Clinic. Oh, yeah. And they was like, you can't come in here. Right. You got fever. What it costs, she can have it all. She don't got no limit. All I do is spend it. I got it, yeah. I got it. She don't got no limit. All I do is spend it. I got it, yeah. I got it, yeah. What's up, YouTube family? What's going on? Today is our first. Yeah. Mukbang. Yeah. <laughs> it took a long time to say that word. But yes, it's pronounced mukbang. Mukbang. <laughs> mukbang. Okay, so as y'all know, um, we're going to answer a serious amount of questions from our supporters um, off the Instagram. So whoever commented mm -hmm. in the questionnaire, shout yes. out to y'all. Some shout of y'all questions will be on answered. this form. Yes. Yes. So, um, we're going to start off and say that I have seafood. I'm a seafood lover. I love seafood. Mm. Got some shrimp, corn on the cob, potatoes, crab legs, um, boiled eggs. Just pick the whole thing up. Just pick, pick the whole I thing up. I got the whole shebang pick on. Pick it up. With, with my, they can see it. It's yeah. heavy. With some delicious smack sauce. And we've been detoxing. Today is day six, right? Day six, right? Um, I don't know. Day six, day seven. <laughs> um, basically, detox water, strawberries, lemon, and cucumbers. Yes. Gallon a day. Oh, see, I love chicken. So, yes. I got my chicken wings. <laughs> All right. All about the flat still, Poe. All the about flat. The nah, man. All about the flat. A flat can never. And uh, I got sweet potato fries. All about the flats. You know, mine's is like, you know, mine's is chill. Like she, yeah. She, she a little OD with hers. I love it. So, let's <laughs> get started. Let's get started, Poe. All right. So... Um, the first question is, what's privacy in a relationship? And that's a good question, honestly, because, you know, you got to set boundaries in a relationship. So, I think, you know, privacy in a relationship is all about boundaries. Guys is going to talk, girls is going to talk to their friends, but I don't think everything needs to be repeated, and I don't think everybody needs to know our business. I think, because of privacy... Mm -hmm. You have to be comfortable with each other. Mm -hmm. And like he, that, I guess we'll say, what's the word, good word for it? Um, whatever you trust with your spouse, mm -hmm. keep it there. Mm -hmm. If you don't trust the whole world, no one, don't share it. Don't share it. That's simple. Mm -hmm. That's a good question, though. Yeah. Marriage. Kids. We definitely answered that in our Q&A. Be sure to check out that question. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. But I want marriage first. I want to travel the world. Mm hmm. And then we can have some little babies. <laughs> but I want to travel the world first and go to places I can't pronounce. Mm hmm. And that's good. That goes to the next question. Yeah. Plans mm -hmm. for what, Corona? Mm hmm. Travel plans. So we definitely is um going away during this COVID 19 pandemic. We will be going to Miami for my little sister's birthday, and then we're we're going straight to New Orleans. Um, so yeah, and we definitely will be vlogging um, both trips. Make sure you stay tuned for that. Yeah, that's gonna get crazy. All right. Mm. Next question: Dream vacation. Hmm. That's a good one. All right. So I want to go. Where do you want to go, Paul? Barcelona. Barcelona? Mm-hmm. That's a dream vacation? That's not a dream. It's one of my places I want to go. It's a dream vac vacation. Excuse me. Dream vacation. Okay. Well, of course, the, um, oh my God, what's the spot? Paris, France? No. Oh, not Paris. Oh, Bali. Yeah. We're going to Bali, though. Mm -hmm. Yes, we will be going to, we are, we are going to Bali. Um, the beginning of next year, I'm so excited. Um, hopefully, Corona gone. I don't think it's ever gonna be going, but mm. but this would be our second vacation. Um, we did go to the Dominican Republic, but we did not film. 
Because we were having too much fun. Yeah. <laughs> and we didn't even know we was going to make a YouTube channel at that time. Yeah, it was just kind of living our lives. Yeah. So. But I think my dream vacation is going to Greece. Greece? You going to take me to Greece? I'm going to Greece. You going to take me to Greece, Lavelle? Yeah. Okay. Give me the grease. Mm. Hold him to it, y'all. <laughs> yes, please hold him to that. No, but I must say, once he say he's gonna do something, he do it. I never thought about grease. You never thought about grease? Mm-mm. That's the hot spot. If I had another place to go, where would it be? Um, I want to go to Japan. You Japan? Not right now, but <laughs> I want to go to Japan. You on your own. <laughs> London, Paris, France, London to Japan. Like, if you ever heard the song, that's the place I want to go. I got it. Check that out on all yeah. digital platforms. We'll, we'll, I got we'll it. check that out. But This song is definitely about me, by the way. <laughs> I want to go to Japan. <laughs> um, the next question. Hmm, is working so out good. together a challenge? Yes, it is. It definitely is. We bump heads sometimes. We bump heads a lot of times. <laughs> Pooh, I get it. Like... You know, you so like on top of your game. I am too, but he, I'm not a man. So, <laughs> he been trying to put more weight on what I can lift. And I just be having to tell him, Pooh, I got to no, build up to that. No, she be out here second guessing herself. And I don't like that. It be like, you can do it. No, I can't. You ain't even try yet. Because <laughs> I know me. No, you, you put yourself in the box. Okay. Every time you do it, oh, that's not that bad. Like, you got to try. If you just lift it up and say, I really can't do this, I'll take it up. Mm-hmm. But I think that's the most challenging part, working out together. All right. Yeah. And if people be, like, being sometimes disrespectful and be all in my face. No, yeah, you can look. Just don't, don't touch. touch. Exactly. Listen, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> but don't touch. All right. The next question is favorite? our favorite black owned business. Uncle Bobby. Uncle Bobby. Shout out to Uncle, Uncle Bobby. Bobby. You don't know who Uncle Bobby's is? It's a black owned coffee shop right on Germantown Avenue. A lot of books in there, educated, like black um man who has a crazy bookshelf of all kinds of books. And um, they sell dope, dope t shirts. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. For the culture, so. I, remember, I remember the first time he took me there. Yeah. I love tea, so he took me there. He said, "I know this good tea spot, and he got some good tea." Mm-hmm. You like the zesty sauce, don't you? All right, both of them. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's go with this next question. Based on your upbringing, <clears throat> what is an ideal way y'all would like to raise your children? Oh wow, good question. Ooh. All right, so my upbringing was. Way different than what I'm losing living right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, Same. Grew up in poverty. Mm-hmm. So with that being said, I'm not very raising my kids the way I was raised. But everything that I learned as a child mm-hmm. is going to be implemented in that hard work. Um, mm-hmm. Not being so selfish. Um taking no for it not taking no for an answer mm-hmm. traveling more yes I didn't travel as a kid mm-hmm. I think the first time I ever traveled when I was an adult yeah. and maybe because I was I wasn't privileged to travel but mm-hmm. I would raise my kids to travel more they'll have passports at a young age mm-hmm. uh, another thing I would want to raise my kids on is um like honing in on their craft so like if they like something and they're drawn to, drawn to something do I'm it. really invest into them. Do it. That's yeah. I think that's a good. I think for me, um, I'm definitely going to spoil my kids, um, but I am. I'm also going to show them what's right, what's wrong, and you know, um, far as making sure they understand a lot of things when they're young. Cause growing up. I, I never saw, like, the racial issues and all that stuff. Um, in school, they never really talked about that stuff. And I feel like 
growing up, my family really never, you know, talked about it until something happened. I don't want to wait till something happened and then my kids be like, oh, mommy, daddy, what's that about or what happened? So I'm definitely going to educate them more um, on that. Um, just making sure I'm near, making sure I don't get caught up in work a lot. Like I want to put my kids first. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, next question. How or why did y'all start focusing on your health? Um. <laughs> so we both don't eat pork or beef. And it's no offense to anybody that eat pork or beef. But my biological mom passed away um, in 2015 due to a heart attack. And she didn't have no heart conditions or problems or any of that nature so it just came out of nowhere and I feel like that's when the time I start watching what I eat I took away pork beef so I really only eat chicken salmon and seafood um because you know pork and beef has a strain on your heart definitely um it clouds your heart and I just feel like because she went through that um I just don't want to, you know, eat anything to trigger it. And then I start working out a lot more. Check out my fitness page, Fit with Tina Marie on Instagram. Yeah, I just watch, watch what I eat and make sure I drink a lot of water. Well, for me, I just wanted to look better. <laughs> I'm being honest. I wanted to look like, but you know, look. I just wanted to look great. I don't know. Um, well, you look good, Poopo. You know. You're looking I'll good. Try. <laughs> now, being a musician, um, I honestly wanted to have a better stage presence. Mm. And looking is half the battle. I'm not saying it because I'm being obnoxious or cocky, but I feel like your presence comes first and then people listen, listen to you. Um, same thing with, with work. Like I feel like it works hand in hand mm -hmm. of what I do for a living. And, um,. I wanted to be strong. I wanted to be fast. I wanted to be athletic. I feel like as a kid, I passed up on the opportunities. I wasn't really into sports like that. Mm -hmm. um, so when I got older and I had, I had the means to go to the gym. I started. I got the gym membership. Mm -hmm. um, and I never looked back. There you go. And then when it comes to the gym, you got results, and with the results. The results is halfway in the kitchen. Like seventy percent of your results come from the kitchen. Right. Now this meal right here is not. It's <laughs> not a good option. <laughs> but today is cheat day. All right. <clears throat> so. Today cheat day, Papa. Yeah, I'm back in there tomorrow, eating my broccoli and chicken. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but for today we're gonna have a little enjoyment meal. All right. Next question. <laughs> Who is y'all biggest supporter since y'all started y'all YouTube channel? Ooh. Who? You want to go first? Yes. I just want to say shout out to my little sister, Brooke. She is definitely one of our biggest fans. Yeah. Um, I told her that I wanted to start a YouTube channel. And she made our banner. She told us the ins and outs. Mm -hmm. She did everything. And still to this day, she's still... You know, tell us um, how we done in our videos as far as criticism, what we could have did better, or this and the third. Um, she's always, she's just an amazing little sister. So my cousin Shantae watches every episode faithfully. Mm -hmm. When that bell go off, when the notification come up, mm -hmm. she's the first one to comment. Her and Ava. Uh, my brother Rodney. Yes, Ava. My little brother Ava. Rodney, my brother, he called me like, yo, I seen your video. I need to, you know, step your wine game up, which I, I appreciate because I'm not the biggest wine drinker. I, I just love sweet wine, like Moscato. Mm -hmm. We got to work on that. But when we go to New Orleans. Yeah, we're going to New Orleans too this year. So we're so going to see him. We're going to step our wine game up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, so shout out to all subscribers and supporters. And yeah, and I mean, not to throw shade to nobody, you know, um, we really don't have a big support system as far as... You know, everybody tuning in to watch us. But it takes time. I get it. Um, of course, we started. We just started. So we're not where we want to be at right now. But I think patience is key. So, you know. Yeah. 
negative things from your past relationships that you made sure not to bring in this one. That's a good one. Yeah. You can go first. Um, for me, I felt like not speaking my truths, mm. holding back punches, like not trying to offend someone. Mm-hmm. Or doing the most to make that person happy and not myself mm-hmm. is one thing I did not bring in this relationship. Um, keeping it real when keeping it real goes wrong. Mm-hmm. Um, being honest with your spouse, I feel like everybody say, "Oh yeah, just be honest." But in all in all reality, mm-hmm. it's easier said than done. So I feel like that was one big thing. I'm like, listen, this is what it is. This is how I feel. And I just kept that same momentum throughout our relationship. Yeah. And uh, you do. And anything you don't like or whatever, you make sure you tell me right then and there. Um, you know, we work on the same vice first. Um, I feel like with me, <clears throat> I tend to shut down a lot and just be like I'm done. I don't give it no thought. I don't give it no chances. I just be like, okay, I'm done. And I feel like, you know, nobody's perfect. Everybody makes mistakes. To a certain extent, I will, you know, um, stick by you, talk it out. We can work it out. But before, it was just like, you do one little thing, now I'm done. And you can't do that. Um, So I think with that, um, I didn't carry it to this relationship. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> well, maybe I did. The first, like, the first one. It's the recording. All right, cool. The first one. But I, I had to realize, like, Tina, I can't do that, okay? I can't do that. Um, I'm going to have to tell her story. And then, <laughs> what else? Um, hmm. I think that's it. I'm really a good person. Yes, you are. Until you cross me, and then that's when. That's when you see uh, another side. (laughs) I feel like that's with anybody, though. Uh, Next question is... If y'all could travel anywhere in the world and money wasn't an issue, where would it be? (laughs) That's a good question. That is a good question. I travel anywhere I want to go <laughs> now when I got the time. So I just feel like it's one of those things like um, just do you and uh, figure the rest out later. <laughs> and we budget well too. <laughs> yeah. So um, if I say to Pooh, like Pooh, like for instance, Bali, I told Pooh like hmm, a couple, like five months ago, I wanted to go to Bali mm-hmm. next year. I told him like five months ago. So of course we start saving for it. Um, <clears throat> but if we can go anywhere in the world and money wasn't an issue, mm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I really don't know the answer to that question. It's okay, nothing though. We'll figure it out later. Yeah. <laughs> All right. The next question is. Well, oh, you got to turn on the back. I know my hands all greasy. It's cool. We almost done. Hey. <laughs> All right. What's the top five vacation? It's a lot of vacation. Vacation, questions. yes. Oh my god. Can we listen? Top five. All right. We're gonna share your top five, and then my top five. Um, but I was gonna share the top five because now. Well, your right. top five may not be my top. All right, five. you know. All right, here we go. So, number one, I'm up in L.A. Mm. I want to go to L.A. like ASAP. So, that's an easy knock off the list. Uh, number two, Bali. Number three, Paris. Number four, Japan. And Indonesia. Indonesia. That is Bali. That's Indo- oh, wow. All right. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't have any more. I don't think so. I want to do Jamaica again. You know what? I want to go back to Jamaica. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. My top five, of course, is Bali. Um, I've been to LA. See how you know. Mm. Um, <clears throat> Paris, of course, Greece. T- 
Thailand. I want to go to Thailand. Spain. Yeah. All right. All right, here we go. This is my favorite question. She was like so like upset at this question, but I liked it. <laughs> if you had one superpower, what would it be? <laughs> Honestly, what would it be? I'm a big Star Wars fan. Big Star what? Wars. Star Wars fan. Okay. So, if I had one superpower, I'd be a Jedi, B. <laughs> I'd be a Jedi. <laughs> um, if I had one superpower, what would it be? That's another. That's a. That, um, now I think about it, it is a good question. Mm -hmm. You were saying it earlier. <laughs> um. I would want to. Bring people back to life, honestly. Mm. And I say that because, like, so many people died in my life and I didn't have a chance to say goodbye. So, if I had a superpower, it would be just to bring that person back to life for one day. And just spend that one day with them, you know, letting them know I love them and everything is going to be okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. The last question. Name one difficult experience y'all had so far in your relationship. COVID nineteen. COVID nineteen. Yep. That was one of the <laughs> craziest, scariest, difficult um time in, time our in our relationship. Thank you for finishing it. Yeah, so um, <clears throat> so gotta, com coming yeah. back from the DR, we can start there. Yeah, like 14 days later, maybe. Mm -hmm. So we went to the days. DR the end of February, the beginning of March. At the time, DR did not have no any cases. <clears throat> coming back, we made sure, even going, we had our masks, we had our hand sanitizer, everything. We was cautious about what we touched. You know, make sure we put hand sanitizer yeah. on. I was spraying the seats. Exactly. The lights saw <laughs> on the plane. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had a mask on. Everybody was like, "Oh, the mask not cool." That's a mask was even cool. We was on. We was the only ones on the airplane with a with mask, mask on. on. Yeah. And a couple weeks later, um. Uh, Ali was at work. No, no. he was at work. Mm -hmm. Pooh, you was at I was. work and I called you and I said, Pooh, I'm not feeling oh, yeah. good. And I called him. I'm like, Pooh, I'm not feeling good. And he like, well, what's wrong? And I'm like, my back hurt, like my body aching. And he was like, you, he was like, like, you got a temperature? I'm like, no. So he was like, is it from juicing? Because I was juicing at the time. And I was like, I think it is. Like, you know, it's flushing my whole system out. Like, I had diarrhea bad. It was just a lot. And then that, I started to feel better a little bit. Yeah, and then that Sunday. That Saturday. That uh, Saturday, I had a crazy headache. Crazy headache. That Saturday, we was cooking out. Just me and him because we meal prep. And he had a crazy headache. He kept saying, honey. I got a headache. I'm going to just lay down. I'm like, okay. Then in the middle of the night, you woke up with chill. I woke up like, yo, you hot? She's like, no, no. go to sleep. <laughs> right. I woke up again like, yo, I'm sweating. Like He was drenched. And that morning, I came downstairs. I was like, let me sit downstairs where it's cool at. Mm -hmm. And then I started getting cool. And then I started getting hot again. I'm like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me take my temperature just to rule it out. And you had a temperature? I had a temperature. I was like, oh, my God. I said, put got the wrong. You know, you gotta get out of here. Where am I go? I said, Pooh, you gotta leave this house. I'm like, where the fuck am I go? I'm walking around. So I get in the car, I drive to um where right I drive to. Right. No, I drove to the um minute clinic. Oh yeah. And they was like, You can't come in here. Right. You got fever. I'm like, alright. So I drove to the Temple Urgent Care. 
You can't come in here. You, you have these different signs. I'm mm-hmm. like, all right, well, where do I go? Like, so I called the hospital. It was like, you can come in here. And they gave me every test, strep throat, negative, flu test, negative. Is that what we're going to do, COVID-19 test? And I'll tell you, that test is very painful. Mm-hmm. It is. So, um. A couple days later, you was diagnosed. With COVID-19. And it sucked. And that's when I lost my smell, my taste. Um, I started having bad headaches. And at this point, I'm like, cool. You got to go in one room. And there's three rooms in this house. Pick one. And we was both scared. Our family was scared. And you can't go nowhere for 14 days. Right. It was hard. (laughs) So if I like cook in the kitchen, he got to be upstairs and I'll like leave his food, you know, on the table for him. We used to have little dates in the hallway. He would be at one end of the hallway. I was at the other. And you gotta share a bathroom. Mm-hmm. You gotta clean a bathroom every time you use it with Lysol. Mm-hmm. And we did like a lot of um, social distance playing. So if mm-hmm. we were um, in the same area, like I'd be in the hallway and we would play like um, Call of Duty. Mm-hmm. Or uh, if we were. Um, Bored, we'll just watch FaceTime and have a movie playing. Well, be on FaceTime and have a movie playing. Mm-hmm. So, it was an interesting 14 days. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm glad it's over. Yes, thank the Lord. We'll st- we're, we are still here. <clears throat> and I don't want the wrong idea. And I pray for the families that had to go through that bad experience and losing loved ones. Um, my heart is with y'all. Amen. Of course. Definitely a bad time. Um, and I just pray for our country that, you know, things will get better. Just going to steal that from her, please. Um, and definitely, I urge y'all, like, to take this serious. This is really something serious. Um, the first thing I did when we found out, I called my grandmother. My grandma would be 100 years old this year. And I called her because I we went to see her. I actually took Pooh to meet her. Mm-hmm, like a week We before. didn't even know we had it. We didn't have no symptoms at the time. So, a couple of days later, we started getting symptoms. And I just called my grandma. That's the first person I called. And I'm like, please just make sure she's okay. Please make like monitor her. Make sure she don't get no symptoms. Have no symptoms and none of that. You know, because it really affect elderly people. And my grandma will be 100 years old. Like, whew, God is good. All the time. All the time. Now... Ah, oh, that was good. <laughs> I'm full. I still got a whole tray up here. Yeah, see, I'm seafood for me. It just doesn't fill me up. I'm getting full though, but I love it. We are behind on our water today. We are. But without further ado, we will be back with another video shortly. Yes. Please subscribe, Hit like, that like, comment, button. notifications on. Hit the bell. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think we know our questions, so yeah. Shout out to everybody for the um, questions, and we'll we'll see you guys soon. <laughs> he missed. <laughs> <laughs>